Now we're in the Shubaz system. Going on Shammy Jin. Or is it Shiny Jim? You decide. I think you just will agree with me. Planet number 10. Yep, we're very close to the top of the screen. So let's go to our right for a second and get a few things off the surface. Also that music. Hey look, a container already. Do you have an idea what it could contain? You probably do. Being this easy, well, it contains nothing. Crap cakes. And if that wasn't annoying enough, being my ship being way too close to the top of the screen, our treasure is going to be very minuscule. In fact, the next one I pick up is going to be the one of the greatest value. Not including radioactivity. Californium, totally legit. Okie dokie. Make sure you have a good meal. Make sure you have a few meals per day. Because eating keeps you alive. I mean, I have several meals a day, but most of them are pretty bad. I mean, that explains a lot of things, but that's not the point. The point is not about me. It's about me towing this thing. With Krypton! We got Tribbles! Uh, that might be a problem, though. Don't you know about Tribbles? Well, these are the Space Loonies. loonies. <sighs> space Loonies. Why? Why for you, Tribble? Yes, you wrap the Tribbles in aluminum foil. For best results. There's not very much on the surface, except one more diamond. I just want just enough get, to get that uh, pod the next time we're at a uh, store there, because it'll probably be it will be my last chance actually, and I'll need it because hmm. Some of these planets get a little feisty. Tribbles should not be microwaved. They have a lot of fur on them. Fur doesn't taste very good microwaved. And never put any metal in your microwave. That includes, and you definitely don't want a cri uh, Krypton in your microwave either. That's radioactive. But we need to go back to that crevice on the uh, right here. Because there is a packet of fuel we need to get. And a diamond as well, but I'll skip the diamond unless I don't have 25,000 by the end of this planet. We gotta go through an extremely narrow crevice. Extremely long crevice. To get 
fuel. Yep, and there are no uh, small wormholes to use either. Making this planet structure very obscenely obscene, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, y'all have the, uh, these guys to fend off as well while you're trying to get the fuel. Don't worry, we couldn't make it any possibly harder. Oh yes, we could. That's a lot of enemies on the screen. Remember, the more enemies on the screen, the less bullets you can shoot. So we're getting the heck out of this place. Oh no, we aren't. We're gonna die again. Which, why in normal play, I would suggest armaments here. Like those multiple warheads. So let's try this again from the the far reaches of something coming out of nowhere. That's what these worms do. They come out of nowhere. They're wormholes. And I don't mean wormholes in the nice way. Oh yeah, that's why I never got past, past tenet, planet 10. Because this happened. And thus another space lead was lost in the Great War. But if we can make it into this crevice, they will hopefully stop spawning. Oh, guess what? They didn't stop spawning. And there's our friend Slowpoke McGee. Some people call it Planet BS, which could be the truth. So if you're very careful, you can take a little little damage. <sighs> oh sure, they don't want to fight me out in the open now. Oh well, back to the mothership with more fuel. I probably don't even need to get this particular fuel. I probably only need four out of five. But anyway, let's go down to the crevice on our left of our mothership now. For an easy, quote, fuel container. But you didn't think it was as easy. We're re reintroducing gravity balls. We heard you thought the gravity was easy around here, so we added some balls. So you see the actual spikes are not actual objects, they're background objects. So it gives you a tiny bit of leeway. But you know what happens when you get a tiny bit of leeway. You get overconfident. 
Gravity Ball Z. The space loony has returned for more fuel. But will he be stopped by the dreaded worms? And can he make it through the narrow crevice in time? Find out on the next episode of Gravity Ball Z. And since we have enough money for now, we can avoid the uh, tiny little radiation there and the diamond to get a fuel packet all the way near the bottom. Also a nearby ship. Which is a small mercy, but a mercy nonetheless. Just so you know, on my laptop, Windows Defender found no threats. That's what that sound was. Here's a threat. Getting this fuel out of here. Whoop. Didn't quite make that now, did I? Whoop. I didn't want to go with that, but... It is what it is. Hey, look, there's our pod, just in case we need it. And get myself over here. And take out these... a few parsecs later. Take out these friends. Because here come the frogs. That's what they are, frogs. Look at all those bullets on the screen that are not mine. They got theirs in the end. Just so you know, more fuel needed. Also, the fuel is in a strange orange-ready color this time. Uh, welcome back, Romson. We're on planet BS. Also, as a friendly reminder, wormholes are heavy. And they put a fuel here in this sneaky place. Surrounded by a bunch of gravity balls. Yeah, the big ones too. Alright, you have a good night. Fly, little men. I said fly, not die. Yep. It can actually get so cluttered on your screen that you can't fire a single bullet. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about the priority system with sprites and bolas and such. But you might need your alternative weapons here. If worse gets the worse. Because there are plenty of these guys to uh, refill that type of energy. Hey, I've collected enough fuel. So going to that crevice on the right on my mothership was totally unnecessary. And probably a bad idea, to be honest. But it is what it is. So as we go further on right, after getting a little milk to restore our fuel, there would be more spaceship fuel right across here. Oh, did I mention gravity balls? Because there's a diamond down there. And I'm getting wrecked around like a pinball machine. Hey! By the way, eggs. The eggmen are back. And there's the fuel container. In case you don't get that one that was in the terrible place that was terrible. On the right oh, up there was another diamond. Probably not worth it. Your opinion, though. Hey! I... Fortunately, there's another pod waiting for me down here. And a small wormhole to the left there, but more importantly, our large wormhole to the right, so we can get our piece of the Golden Warp ship. Right after these gravity messages. And for our little obstacle course over here, it looks easy. But look at all those turrets. It's just a freaking gauntlet, isn't it? Plus, I believe gravity in this section might be a little off. Okay. Nope, that's not all of them. That's still not all of them. Now that's all of them. And across a little area here, it will probably be filled with the same thing. To be honest, I don't know because this is my first time down here. No! Worse! Gravity balls! Because you missed gravity balls, didn't you? Yep, I am missing a lot of gravity balls. So it's time to be pinballed. Because if you're not pinballs, well, you're playing the wrong game. Everybody loves pinball. Don't lie. There it is. And fortunately, there's no interference from our worm friends. Fingers crossed. Oh. Hi, Gravity. I knew you weren't done with me. Swing that pod from side to side.
There we go, another piece of the golden warp ship. It just looks like a gold pod with a few new features, like gold. But I thought you said gold was worthless. I don't even know anymore, to be honest. Meanwhile, Cyberzone. No, you can't have sex with your ward. Or warp ship. So here we go, making you dizzy with this green waterfall like effect to collect our diamonds. Seven average. And a simple drop later, a very short one, it's time to blast off. Towards Planet Eleven. We're getting there. And I'm actually making pretty good time. It is a ship worthy of cheese, says Izzy. I approve of this. What kind of cheese? Who knows? Yep, everybody's streaming today. A lot of things are happening. As we approach Shanku, Shanku, with a huge gravity of 56 and a diameter of 39, mediumish, in the Shoba system. In the next video, we deal with this Mars duplicate.